I wish you wouldn't keep avoiding me, Chrissy. I've been busy. I've had things to do. Yeah. We have to talk. We used to have an agreement. An agreement between the two of us. Just our secret. Nobody else in the world mattered but us. I'm not a kid anymore. I don't care. You haven't told anyone, have you? About us. How could I? I can't tell my mother. Or my I have sister. a reputation to maintain. I wouldn't want you to damage that reputation, Christy. I haven't told anybody. Because if you did, well, you don't know how much I care for you. I, I'm never, I'm never stop caring, sweetheart. Got nothing to worry about. You have grown up. I care about you even more than I did before. How we were together, the way it used to be. And it's time you stop picking up stray dogs. I have to go. Ted's waiting for me. Hey, what's the rush? Can we go someplace else to eat, please? Eat here. Hi there. Nice day, isn't it? Cece, I need to talk to you. Sophie, excuse me for a moment. I'll be right back. Certainly. No, I have done exactly as you asked. I have stayed away from the estate. But I do exist, and what you were doing to me is unfair. Mrs. Capel? Yes. Oh, yes. You probably want to talk to me about my case. What did you say your name was? Steve Bassett, the assistant DA. That's right. What do you want? You have 24 hours to appoint an interim lawyer in the absence of Jay Sanfield Lee. Yes. Otherwise, the court will be forced to appoint one for you. You're in a hurry, aren't you? The Constitution guarantees the right to a fair and speedy trial. I'll have representation by the end of the day. Good day. You are deliberately keeping Brandon from me. Now, are you going to listen to the dictates of a woman who's sick and half out of her mind, or are you going to do the decent thing and let me see my son? Rosa keeps you up to date on the boy. You know Brandon is fine. Does this mean you're not going to give me permission to see Brandon? For the time being, that's exactly what it means, and you're just going to have to accept it. Now, right now, I am worried sick about Kelly. We're working day and night trying to find her and that photographer. I am worried about Kelly, too, oh, but... I don't want to have to worry about you and Brandon. You understand? Christy, just tell me what is going on here. Look, can a girl change her mind? Well, it was your idea we were going to come here. I mean, I thought we were going to have some lunch here. It was a stupid idea. Can't we just go back to the house? Christy, are you in trouble? Huh? No. Please go to the house. I'll call around and get an attorney to represent you until Jack gets back. Good. I'd like to be someone I know. I'll have to think about that. Not really. I was talking about Mason. Mason? Are you out of your mind? Didn't you hear what he said about you? He thought that you pushed his mother out. Oh, Cece, he was just angry. He'd fight for me. You know that. You've admitted that yourself. The suggestion is appalling. Sophia, he has a case against me with another client. Cece, listen to me. It'll only be temporary until Jack gets back. Jack said he'd be back very soon. And Mason is family. Mason is not family. Mason is a marvelous it's... human being. Good afternoon, all. Sophia, you're looking lovely. Thank you. Dad, may I remind you that if you're here for legal advice, I charge by the hour. For heaven's sake, Sophia, not Mason. 